Hey guys, this is Caffeine Gaming, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. We are still doing social links. That's what we did last time. We hung out with the dog, Kar uh, Koromaru. We hung out with Shinjiro at the movies. And uh, yesterday we did, we had, or this, or this um, it's afternoon, we hung out with Sayori, and she's been suspended from school. So this time, we're going to be doing some other stuff. So let's go ahead and just get on here. Dead man had ties to local loan shark operations. People say that the lack of a struggle most likely means his assailant was familiar with him. The victim had likely contracted apathy syndrome, preventing him from fighting back. Well, that's depressing. We're going to talk to everybody today. Mitsuru can complain all she wants, but we only have three shadows left. Once we defeat them, there won't be any more news about the lost. We're so close. I'm on my own, huh? Well, I don't care what you guys think about me. I'm doing things my way. And there's nothing you guys can do about it. What the heck's going on here? Y'all need to calm down. Shinjiro Senpai is by himself a lot. Does he just like to be alone or is he just shy? To be honest, I'm a little worried about him. He must be so sad being alone all the time. The news has been reporting that the number of lo the lost is increasing. I wish we could receive some good news for once. It is difficult to determine a shadow's strength, particularly these last three. Please be prepared for the worst. Shinjiro Senpai is a really good cook, despite how tough he looks. That was a really good meal. There's more to him than meets the eye. What's up, Katone? How are you doing? I'm good! Come on, man! <laughs> Liven up. You're young. You should have some fun. Uh, what if they say not so great? That's not good. You gotta liven up. You're young. Have some fun, man. Alright, well, we're hanging out with Ken this evening, so let's go ahead and get to do that. I'm drinking some coffee now. I've So, I record Persona on Mondays, if you're wondering. And I had tea this morning, and then I had coffee tea. That was... You probably remember that from an episode. And now it's, uh coffee. Actually, it was probably from Skyrim, because I recorded Skyrim this morning, as it is Tuesday. I screwed up yesterday's recording uh, schedule. Ken ordered the calcium meal, but he doesn't seem to have much of an appetite today. Let's see here. You can say either one of these. I'm going to say, does it taste bad? Um, it's definitely not good, but that might be my fault. I can't really taste it well. Ken seems depressed. I'm sorry. Um, I always make you listen to me talk. It's like I'm depending on you too much. It's not good, huh? Uh, you want to say, actually, I want to hear more. But it's no fun to listen to a little kid like me. Why are you so... Ken looks downwards. Um, Katone-san, I'm going to be serious here, so please listen to what I have to say. Uh-oh, serious time. Remember the manga I talked about before? The one with the alien hero who fights bad guys? I threw all of them away. Uh, you want to say I'll buy you a different series? No, it's okay. Thank you, though. Ken bows slightly. Fighting isn't a good thing. But I enjoyed reading it. Uh, you can say either one of these. I'm going to say, don't worry about it. But reading it got me all excited. It was really cool when tons of bad guys were dying, too. That can't be good. Ken looks like he's about to cry. I hate that I feel that way. You want to say you're okay the way you are. It's okay. Why do you say things like that? I'm trying so hard. I... I want you to notice me. Notice me, senpai! Oh, I mean, uh, uh, sorry, I was, uh... Oh, Ken looks downwards. You feel like you understand Ken a little better now. <laughs> I feel like I need to add, like, artwork to that little part about the whole notice me senpai thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's eat. Does your food taste good, Katone-san? I was getting worried that yours might taste bad, too, if you're with me. You want to say here that's not true? I see. I'm glad to hear that. You're so nice, Katone-san. Ken laughs and looks embarrassed. I'd like to have dinner with you again. I mean it. Aww. He's such a child. Like, he's ten. 
Right? We figured that out. He's 10 and yeah, you're 16. You're, you're good. Those incidences, or the, what? Those incidents with the unconscious people. Is it just me or do they seem to be getting worse? No, it's not just you. They're definitely on the rise. It's all over the news too. The whole thing makes me uncomfortable. What if it started happening all over the world? Hey, don't say stuff like that. Yeah, um, the end of the world is coming. Newsflash. All right, what we got here? We've got Bebe, so, um, they go into fashion club here. Yappa. And, okay, that's good, that's it. And actually, that's what we're going to do today. There's nobody has anything interesting to say. Everyone's still talking about the lost. Everything's bad. Things are terrible. We're gonna go hang out with Bebe. And uh, we're going to go to the home economics room. All right. Katoni-sama, I have come up with a great idea to show Japan's charm to Japan, <laughs> charm to my uncle. I will show him a kimono and make him understand the beauty of Nihon. Uh, you want to say that's a nice idea? Since you agree, Katoni-sama, I have nothing to be afraid of. Maybe I seem to very excited. The kimono is a Japanese treasure. If I show it to my uncle, he will surely let me stay in Nihon. The design will be the mascot of the sweet shop. I sought of the design because Kotone-sama took me there. It's really hard to do the Z's. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe it seems to be counting on you. Your relationship is stronger now. Like, I'm honestly trying to do the Z's, but I'm actually starting to get an accent to do it because of the Z's. And I'm trying not to because it's going to sound ridiculous. And I don't want to sound that stupid on, on uh, recording. I am no longer confused. I will hurry up and make the kimono. I will sew like the wind. Maybe I began working on his project with all his might. He decided to start working on a scarf like he mentioned before. This will take a while. He worked alongside Bebe for a long time, then decided to go back to the dorm. Yeah, so you're making a scarf now. Sup, we'll get there. What's up, Jinpei? The next full moon's coming up. And since Chidori is getting better, I think I'll start training again. Besides, those ap apathy freaks are popping up everywhere. Sorry, reading is hard. Uh, the only person we want to talk to this evening is Ken. Huh? Why am I always in my room? No reason, really. Okay, we are going to hang out with Shinjiro this evening. Katone, what's up? You have to do this. We've talked about this before. If you do not follow the moon social link while I am doing this as the female protagonist, you will bomb it. So just do it. I seriously follow my directions here. Mind if we step out for a bit? It's just I feel uncomfortable. Uh, you can say anything here. I can say, did something happen? It's nothing like that, but Shinjiro seems hesitant to explain himself. In any case, you decided to go out with him. We're just gonna go stand outside the dorm, right? Yeah. Ugh, seriously. Sorry, those guys keep yapping at me. Uh, you can say either one here. I'm gonna say yapping at you. You remember how I cooked for them that other day? They keep going on and on about how delicious it was and how I should do it again. Aki keeps pushing these requests on me. Fuka's throwing cookbooks at me. And whenever I walk past the kitchen, they all stare at me like they're just waiting for me to do something. Shinjiro shrugs. Uh, you want to say I have my hopes up too? <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. <laughs> well, I'm glad they liked it. Shinjiro relaxes and laughs. Do you think it's funny that I did that? You think it's it isn't like me? I mean, there's nothing wrong with having good memories to grow up with. We've got two kids at the dorm anyway. One big one and one tiny one. How about you? Did you have fun too? You want to say definitely. Heh, <laughs> good to hear. Shinjiro laughs. Making memories is important. People can go on as long as they have good things to look back on. They'll be able to go on without being led astray. Shinjiro mutters quietly. You know, you... Shouldn't you be doing something else? You shouldn't be with me like this. Don't you have more fun things to do? Uh, you want to say it's fun being with you. Well, all right then. Shinjiro seems a little embarrassed. If you can feel Shinjiro's thoughtfulness towards you, clumsy as it may be. Oh, Shinjiro. Lost and confused. Mostly confused. Might as well stop by somewhere since we're already out. You want some ice cream from the convenience store? My treat. 
Yay, ice cream! Oh, I have ice cream in the fridge, actually. Or in the freezer. Picked some up yesterday. I'm very excited. It's like a low sugar cookie dough one, but I'm very excited to try it out because it's like high protein. Ah, take your seat, class, and we'll begin. Oh god. Hifu mi yo i ya koto mo chiranri rodi. Okay, so this one we looked at before. I looked up with my with my husband, but it is um something to do with Taoism. So it's like one of their chants or something like that. I didn't go too far down the rabbit hole, but this one's not about Satanism or Satan or summoning demons. This is math class normally, yes? Miss uh, Miyahara isn't feeling well, so I'll be filling in for her. Since you came here expecting a math lesson, I'll talk about numerology. Numerology is a type of magic which sees the world through a system of numbers. Essentially, its practi practitioners convert matter into numbers. Numbers have power and numerologists take advantage of that. It is said that the first numerologist was Pythagoras. You may have known him for the Pythag Pythagorean theorem, but he's also famous for practicing magic. He and his pupils researched what they call Pythagorean Pythagoreanism. <laughs> That's a hard one to say. They realized that everything that exists in this world corresponds to a number. They considered odd numbers masculine and even numbers feminine. They also verified the existence of holy and unholy numbers. The Pythagoreans focused on the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 because they add up to 10, which represents completeness. They considered these four numbers to be the holy numbers, the most important of all. They're called the te tetratites. Is that, hopefully that's pronounced correctly. Others later developed on the foundation laid by Pythagoreans. More recently, there's been work done on the relationship between numbers and names. Let's look at this a little closer. I'll show you a method by which you can interpret your own name's meaning. Be sure to include your middle name too. Now convert each letter into a number, one for A, two for B, and so on. Add the numbers for each letter in your name. If a number has a two digit, if a letter has a two digit number like 14 for N, add the two digits together to make a single digit. By the end, you should have a number between one and nine. This number represents an individual's overall personality. Based on that number's properties, you can derive the person's general characteristics. Are you all listening? I hope this talk of numbers hasn't put you to sleep. <laughs> How about a little test to see if you were paying attention? Get it wrong and numbers will haunt you even in your sleep. Hifu mi yo i nu na ya koto mo chira ro ne. Who should I pick? All right, Katone, I ask thee. What is the collective name for the four holy numbers in numerology? The correct answer here is the tech. Is it tetra -ax? I don't know. I have no freaking clue. That's correct. The actual tables predict a happy future for there. I'm sorry. Yeah, the actuarial tables predict a happy future for you. A few more words on numerology and names before we dismiss. Numerology can also be used to discern your inner self, public persona, your future, and so on. Convert the vowels in your name into numbers and add them up. That reveals your inner self. Then take the consonants and do the same to get the persona you display in public. Using the same method with your birth date will calculate your future. Be sure to use Christian era, Christian era dates in this calculation. It's also possible to assess your compatibility with another person using numerology. By adding the digits of your birth date to another's, you can... Ah! Really? And that, I think, I feel like this guy would have like that really long droning voice where he's just like talking and you're just like, oh my gosh, stop. That was freaking four minutes of class, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to be hanging out with Fuka today. So let's go to cooking club. Let me put a little bit of length on today's episode to get done with the next few days. I'm thinking about it. Get Cook on High School Home Economics Room. I'm going to cook on my own today. Uh-oh. It'll be really delicious, so look forward to it. What are you going to make today, Katoni-chan? Um, I'm gonna make sweet fries. You can do anything you want there. Are you done, Katoni-chan? I just figgled up, figgled up. <laughs> Finished up now, too. I got done pretty fast. Look, look. Rows of triangular rice balls are lined up on the plate that Puka handed to you. The rice looks moist and delicious. This one has pickled plum, this one's salmon, and this one's seaweed. Try whichever one you like. You pick one and eat it. It's very good. You can do either one. I'm gonna say this is really delicious, right? There are 22 conditions that must be met for making a good rice ball. I've met all those conditions, so there's no possible way that it wouldn't be delicious. Fuka seems really proud of her culinary handiwork. 
I don't think I was making enough of an effort before. No, that's not it. I just wasn't putting in enough e effort in the correct way. I just thought about trying harder. That wasn't right. Thinking about how you can fix your mistakes is how you really put forth a better effort. If you can't do something that others can, then that's the effort you need to reach their level. It seems so obvious now, but I didn't understand it at all. All I did was envy your skills. I'll, nev I'll never again think that my goals are doomed from the start. Thanks, Katone-chan. Who could let out a relieved laugh? So really all she's saying is rather than just trying, like randomly putting in more effort, she found where her weaknesses were and worked on them. It's pretty simple. Oh, I have more on this plate too. This one's tuna, that one's natto, and this one's mintakayo. I don't remember which ones are which. I think I looked these up, but I don't remember where they are. And on top of that, I even have a supreme one where I mixed in all the ingredients. Eat up. You ate as much as you could before you headed back to the dorm. And hopefully we cleaned up afterwards. Oh, hey! Hey, what's up, Yukari? Um, we'll watch some TV and then no one has anything interesting to say. The apathy syndrome is even more widespread than last time. Medical workers are shocked by the number of new victims being admitted to the hospitals. We're hanging out with Shinjiro again this evening, so let's do it. Katone, you mind coming with me? Shinjiro looks very serious. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with him. Oh, thanks. And this one's a little bit more serious than his last one. Back alley. He went for a walk with Shinjiro and ended up here. Here we are again. That reminds me, I met you here too. Back then, I never imagined that I'd go back there. Uh, you want to say I'm glad you came back. I doubt that I'm bringing that much to the team though. Shinjiro shrugs. Shinjiro turns down, or turns toward the wall and looks down. He seems less confident in himself than usual. You're a pain. You keep messing things up for me. I keep thinking that my life is the way it's supposed to be, but sheesh, your face keeps popping up in my head. You don't understand why Shinjiro sighs. Still, you feel like you're getting closer to Shinjiro's inner feelings. Oh my. Was that like a, that was like a sideways way of saying that I've got a crush on you? Is that what that was that just happened? I don't know. Guess we should head back. We actually have a place we can go back to. Well, that was a really short one. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just keep on rolling here today. We're doing quite a bit. Okay, so we are going to be... Sorry, Akihiko. I wish we could go on a date with you right now, but we have other things to be doing. Um, and the person that we want to get our relationship up with is not going to be calling us today. So... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop calling me! Leave me alone! Do not disturb! Okay, first things first, we're gonna head down to the first floor and chit chat with some people before we get going. Uh, let's talk to Shinjiro here. You should eat healthy and get ready for winter. Shadows aren't your only enemies. Don't forget about Strega. You're gonna need to build up your stamina. Let's talk to Fuka here. Ken Kun seems so depressed lately. I wonder what's going or I wonder what's wrong. And let's talk to Mitsuru. Are you at all disappointed that the culture festival was was canceled? I am totally disappointed. Interesting. A great number of people have voiced their disappointment regarding the cancellation. However, the decision is final. We will not be having a festival this year. We will have to wait until next year to attend the culture festival. All right, let's head into town. We don't have a lot to do right now, so we're just gonna go to the shrine and just get, get going. No one has anything interesting to say, unfortunately. We're gonna draw Let's see here, we're gonna draw people in school and we're going to draw Hidetoshi. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see, today's luck is, ooh, no, we lost a thousand yen. Okay, at least it wasn't really bad luck. Hey. What's up? No one has anything interesting to say down here as we already talked to them. So let's go ahead and watch television on the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 32, Wings Return, The Demons Overstay Their Welcome. And now the news. Apathy syndrome spread shows no signs of stopping. Oh dear. We're gonna go to the second floor here. Oh, we're at 20 minutes. Hmm. I guess we'll have to wait until next time. You know what they say about cornered animals, right? They can be pretty scary. Well, what do you think that well, do you think the same thing is true for a shadow? Is its strength amplified? I cannot say for sure, but we should be prepared for that possibility. 
No matter how strong we are, we should continue training. Three shadows remain. The final battle is not far off. Dude, why can't they just all come at once? Then we can get it over with. Um, you think you can beat them if you fight them all at once? Uh, that would be impossible. I know how Ken Kun must be feeling. Your environment can have a big effect on you. That's true. Ken Kun, oh. No. Oh, sorry, it's hard to tell. He, he seems like someone who always tries to figure things out on his own. But I'd be more than willing to help him if there's something wrong. Yeah, we're not sure what the uh, problem is. All right, we're gonna go ahead down to the first floor. We're gonna get him to do one more thing here today. Because why not? Uh, do I wanna do anything? No, you know what, I'm gonna stop because I'll give us one more episode for this week and um, then we'll go into Tartarus because it'll be two or three episodes. I'm hoping to keep that one short. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys next time.